What's up guys? I am at the Overland Expo in Flagstaff, Arizona, and this rooftop tent caught my eye. And Lee here is gonna tell you all about it. Go for it, man. Introduce yourself. My name's Lee Hoffman and I uh, purchased this tent through Kickstarter. Uh, it's the iCamper Sky Camp. Uh, brand new uh, tent model that just came out. They've done a few other ones in South Korea, but this is the first I think they brought over to the US. So that's the first thing that we got to get out of the way is these guys are actually from South Korea. Correct. I heard another company down here mention these guys. Yeah. And then that's why I'm Well, they've been all over Facebook and there's nice. quite a bit of buzz about it, I think. So, yeah. Um, so what sets this apart from all the other rooftop tents out there? Yeah. So the reason I was interested and the reason I, I am here today and that I bought this tent was uh, I have a family of four and Me too. there are very few tents that are hard shells mm -hmm. that allow you to fit all four of you into the same tent. Right mm -hmm. up till now we've been using a traditional uh, like Auto Home USA style that mm -hmm. holds about two or three people and they just pop up like this yeah. uh, with scissor lift. Um, what Great for my two eye, people but right, not four. Exactly. Yeah. And what caught my eye about this one was the way it folds out. Nice. It still maintains the speed of a hard shell where you can set it up in mm -hmm. under a minute, which is a big deal for me. I want to be able to get it roll into my camp and be yeah, drinking no. a beer and <laughs> How long does it take? Five a minutes. minute? Is it a minute? Under a minute. Under I mean, a minute. You, you literally just undo the latches and it, it opens like this as opposed to straight up and then you fold out the uh, floor here uh -huh. and you're done. So that was my requirements was for it to be fast, um, mm -hmm. for it to be a hard shell. I'm just a fan of those. I don't, I'm not as big a fan of the kind with the PVC jacket that yeah. you have to put over it every single time. Uh, and also just uh, the having the four people. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the price is really good right now through uh, their introductory price. How much was it, if you don't mind me asking? Um, well, you know what? There's a lot of variations in the oh. price based on which tent material you Different choose. models. Yeah, yeah they have, well, it's all the same model, but they have uh, more of a traditional tent, real lightweight tent material you can do instead of the poly cotton canvas. Mm -hmm. This is they the durable have, one, right? They also have a um, a, nile, a mesh version for, I guess, if you live somewhere like Arizona here, where you don't get any rain. Yeah, you need <laughs> some. It's not cold. You need the area, yeah. airiness of it. Uh, one of the other things I actually just found out last night for the first time was how nice it was to sleep with the skylight. Oh, I was laying I didn't there. Know it had a skylight. Uh, oh yeah, it's just a basically a. PVC window at the top. It's mm -hmm. waterproof, so you, but you can sit there and wake up in the morning to sunlight as opposed to pitch dark in most <laughs> nice. other tents. So that was nice. Especially with this thick stuff, it doesn't let light through. It doesn't. Sure. You know, my yeah. other one is the windows are closed. It's basically it could be noon and you don't realize that it's, uh, <laughs> it's light outside. Nice. It'll pretty much mount on any rack system, right? Correct. It's a 2009 yeah, Jeep Rubicon. Jeep, uh, unlimited Rubicon. Uh, which again, for having a family of four, it's nice to have the four-door version. Yeah. I mounted my tent further back so that the removable uh, hard top in the front is called the uh, Freedom Top. Oh, Those panels right. in the front come out. Yeah. So that way, when I take that off, I can still enjoy looking out the That's out the cool. Top. That's very cool. Yeah. So with this rack, it's got crossbars far enough back. That you can you can slide the whole tent back and mount it. Oh, I way. see you're going with a Gobi. Yeah, nice. Yeah. My buddy has one of those. Yeah, it's a Gobi stealth wrap. Very nice. And here's the beautiful part about this tent right here. It's got this hard shell in the on the side here, so you're getting it's like a hybrid, like hard shell and soft. Correct. Yeah, we're nice. most. I guess they're all that way, but most of the other ones, it's purely the walls as opposed to part of the roof. Oh, so there's a good example of the other option. Exactly. Where it's I just actually, straight up. Yeah, I own that tent as well. Oh, That's nice. what I had on this before. Uh -huh. And I can tell you, after sleeping in here last night, this is going to be a huge upgrade. Oh, so. yeah. You can see the size difference just from yeah, here. Right. This is, I don't know, 50% bigger? Yep. For the same price. Oh, really? Yeah. So you can take that off, unzip it from the frame, and zip on the mesh for it. Oh, I see. That's cool. So you can kind of grow with it and right. upgrade. And I believe cool. that it still has a rain fly. You can pull, see it's yeah, kind of folded up. Yeah, I see it. Pull yeah. that over. It's just that then you wouldn't have a windows and, a, and more of a winter. This is more of a yeah. all season tent. This is more of like a summer tent. Gotcha. Do they even make a like a vestibule type thing that comes yeah, they, down as well? Uh, they make an awning like that. Oh, like that. Oh, I see. Yeah. I'll they go also get some make a rain that. fly that I bought that's kind of clear plastic that's going to zip on that'll extend out even further uh -huh. if there's really harsh weather. Uh huh. But you don't want an, an entire awning. Cool. But the awning zips into this. Right here. So you just zip it on, 
either the rain fly or the, the awning zips onto that so you can get in and out of the, the tent in the nice. dry weather. Nice. Now, how much are these ballpark? Well, price? ballpark, I think. Well, right now they have a they had the Kickstarter price, and of course that changed throughout the campaign depending on how early you bought mm -hmm. in. Now that that's over, I think they have another introductory price, but I think the full MSRP of what he said it will go for eventually is thirty five hundred. Okay. Which is actually less than most of the other hard shell options are usually in the same in the same usually room. around four thousand. I think. Yeah, because yeah, this is a big tent, you can expect to pay a little bit more. Yeah. Correct. So check this out. So. Here is a version that has a full awning on the outside. So if you want to stay out of the sun or stay out of the rain, they have a full tent pole style awning system that you can attach to it. It just zips right on. That is really cool. Well, let's talk about your Jeep real quick. Okay. So what did you do to the Jeep exactly? Well, I... Uh, let's, let's fly this yeah, one. Yeah, I used to have a two-door uh, TJ uh -huh. Jeep. Um, so I sold that and basically went to a, a four-wheel drive shop in Denver that that does good work and I pretty much just handed them the check, <laughs> <laughs> financed yeah. the Jeep, and then bought uh, <laughs> bought my whole. So basically, it's got a six-inch TerraFlex uh, low center gravity kit, and then these are 37-inch oh, okay, uh, tires. 37. And I changed out the gearing to 538 gears so that I can get up the passes in Colorado and nice. pull on a trailer. What kind of bumpers are these? Um, this one is a LOD. It's, you can see after eight years, it's uh, powder coating's taking a beating. <laughs> yeah, that you, one's okay. You wheel that. this thing, man. You're yeah, actually out there. Yeah. The, back, it, the back is actually my favorite uh -huh. bumper, and it's made by Expedition One, and they're over that way. Uh -huh. But when they were one of the first ones to incorporate um, the uh, swing, into the hitch, or I'm sorry, into the tailgate, so that you don't oh, have to have yeah, a, it's not you don't have to have a secondary latch over here that rattles and falls apart. Yeah, it's just purely all together. It's all I love it. And yeah. you, they're they're able to do that because of this yeah. this design really here, right? Beefy hinge. I've you know this has been on there for eight years. I've never had to <laughs> service it or anything. It's just nice, it's really quality. So. Very cool, very cool. Well, I appreciate your time you talking about this tent. Let's end this video with, uh, do, you, do they have a website guys can go to? They do. It's iCamper.com. iCamper.com, pretty straightforward stuff.